Hello and welcome to Circle Time. I hope you had a great weekend and a happy Easter and a wonderful spring break if you took spring break last week. Well, Sue, come out. Look, our friends are back and it's time to sing our good morning song. Will you help me? Good morning, good morning. How are you? Good morning, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Hope you are too. I'm fine, I'm fine. Hope you are too. Well, Sue, I'm so excited to see you today. Did you know that we're going to talk about letter K? That's my letter. Letter K is for kites. And now that spring is here, it's time for kite flying on a windy day. You can sit down right now, Sue, but I heard your friend is coming. But Dwight, Sue's friend is coming to help us to learn about the sound K makes. But first, we have to feed our friend Fred the fish. That's our class job. So every time you come to class, we need to feed Fred. Hi, Fred. Good morning. Well, now let's turn around and let's see what our calendar says. I'm going to use my flower pointer today. The month is April and the number goes right there. Let's reach into our can and see how we're going to count. It says we're going to clap our hands. So let's clap as we count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Today is April 10th. Can you say that? April 10th, good job. If you go up to the top, you can see that today starts with M. Letter M says M. Mm. So what day starts with that sound? M. Mm. Monday. Today is Monday. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, it's time for you to look outside your window and see what your weather is like today. Maybe your weather is cloudy like mine, or maybe it's sunny or even rainy. Did you check? Look outside the window. Okay, now when I do like this with my microphone, you shout out whatever your weather is. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is. It is. It is. Out today. It is, it is, it is out today. Well, let's dress Weather Bear. I think Weather Bear, we're going to put you on, hmm, let's put some pants on and a t-shirt. There you go, Weather Bear. And do you know what the season is? The season is spring. Spring. Very good. The season is spring. Well, that was our calendar and weather time. And now it's time for our letter of the day. Today's letter is letter K. Can you say K? Does your name have a letter K? If your name has letter K, stand up. If your name has letter K, stand up. If your name has letter K, if your name has letter K, if your name has letter K, stand up. Well, today K is for kites. And I decorated my K with some little kites that I cut from colorful paper. But you could also draw a kite, just make a diamond. I drew some little strings, 
So this letter is what? Letter K. And that's an idea for decorating your letter K for kites. Well, now that we can recognize and name the letter, we'll practice writing it. And I'm going to show you how. To make a letter K, all you have to do is make a number one. Then go back up to the top and over. Up and over. Slide to the middle and slide out. That's how you make a big letter K. Do you want to try? All you have to do is make a number one and then go back up to the top and over. And then you're going to slide to the middle and slide out. One, back up and over, slide to the middle and slide out. One, up and over, slide, slide. One, and then slide to the middle and slide out. Parents, you can get a copy of this handwriting house paper on my website. The link is below. All right, let's make a little K. You're going to make a number one again, and you're going to actually make the same duck mouth right here, but we're going to do it down at the bottom for little K only, only down at the bottom. So just slide, slide, but we're doing it at the bottom half of the letter K. And it's easier to show that on our handwriting paper. So let me do that now. So make the one and then come to the downstairs part right here. Find the stairs. This is downstairs on the handwriting house. You're going to go to that dotted line, slide to the middle and slide out. One and then slide to the middle and out downstairs. Make that little duck's bill. Okay, so that is the little letter K. I would love to cheer for you because I know you're listening and learning and doing such a great job on your handwriting. And here is a sticker for your handwriting paper. Well, now we know what letter K looks like. We know how to write letter K. So it's time to talk about the sound that letter K makes. Letter K makes the same sound like letter C. Can you try? Letter K makes the sound as in kick. Can you kick your foot? Kick. Well, a friend of Sue's is coming today to help us to remember, to try to remember that K says K, as in kick. It's Kermit the Frog. Kermit, did you come to help us with our high kicks? Okay, well, here we go. We're going to practice letter K. K says, K, as in kick, kick, kick. Ooh, Kermit, you have a really high kick. <laughs> Can you practice your kicks with Kermit? What does letter K say? As in kick, kick, kick. <laughs> that is so funny. Letter K says, as in kick, kick. <laughs> well, thank you, Kermit. Kermit's going to blow you a kiss. Mwah. K is for k k kiss also. Well, that was super fun. Now it's time for us to do something fun for art. And I'm going to show you how to make a kite like this one. So all I did was I just took a square. I'm going to take this apart so I can show you how I made it. I just took a square piece of paper. Make sure that it's the same size on all four sides. That's what a square is. And then I just folded down this side from the corner. Just like that. And then from this corner, I just folded this to the middle and I taped it right there. Now that kind of gives it a puffy look. See, it kind of gives it a 3D look. And then I just took some string and I taped it at the back. 
And now for the fun part, you can decorate your kite if you'd like to. So we just made a, a paper kite today for art. For science, I want to show you something that I made that's really cool. It's just a pinwheel. And when I blow on it, you can see that it moves. Well, it's moving because I'm blowing on it. And I'm producing air or wind. Do you see the wind coming from my mouth when I blow? No, but you can see what the wind can do. In fact, the wind can be powerful. Take a look at these. These look like giant pinwheels or windmills. These are called turbines. They spin when the wind blows on them. They're really giant. At the bottom is a generator. A generator can turn that wind into power or electricity. We use power or electricity to turn on our lights or our refrigerator or our stove when we cook. We need power or electricity for our air conditioner or our heater. So that's very important. And did you know that we can get that power from wind? The wind can be powerful and very useful. Well, that was fun. And I hope that you learned a little bit about wind power. Well, it's time for story time. And our book today is called Kite Day. Kite Day is by Will Hillenbrand. Bear looked at the sky. Could it be? He wondered. He tilted his head up. Whiff, whiff, whiff. He smiled and then shouted, Kite Day! Bear rushed home, huff, puff, huff, puff, huff, puff. Come on, Bear waved to Mole. Kite Day is here. Bear collected. Mole studied. Bear snatched. Bear measured and cut. Mole drew. They both constructed. Finally, they raced outside into the meadow. The kite flew. Zoom, zoom, zoom. It soared up, up, up. Uh-oh. Then dark, heavy clouds rolled in. Rumble, rumble, rumble. The breeze grew into a gust. Then, snap, the kite string broke. Away, 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 spun the kite. Oh, no, screamed Mole and Bear. Down, 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 plunged the kite. Save that kite, shouted Mole. The two ran. Hurry, 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 urged Bear. Mole stopped. He tilted his head up. Splat, splat, splat. Rain pelted the broken kite. Look, cried Bear. Oh, sighed Mole. Chirrup. Chirrup, chirrup, squeaked the baby chicks. Thank you, sang the mother bird. The end. Well, why did the mother bird say thank you? How did the kite help? The kite was like an umbrella. It was over the birds and they were not getting wet. That was very cool. So kites can be useful and wind can be useful. And today we learned about letter K. What does K say? As in kick. Well, Sue, thanks for inviting your friend Kermit to come today to help us learn. And I hope you'll come back tomorrow and we'll learn about letter L. L is for ladybug. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you then. Have a great day.